when we have a new name. BC Liberal leader Kevin Falcon has been advocating for the name change to BC United. He says about 8,000 members voted for the switch. 80% of our members have endorsed the idea of changing the name from the BC Liberal Party to BC United. Falcon says the new name signifies a party united by values, united by determination. He says if incoming Premier David Eby calls a snap election, he won't change the name immediately. We will make sure that we implement it when it makes sense for us. Former BC Liberal leader Gordon Wilson, who created momentum for the party in the late 1980s and early 1990s, says the party has been gradually shifting right. He says at first with more Socreds joining and federal conservatives over the years. Wilson points out the name change could signal a shift to the right of the political spectrum with more federal conservatives now apt to join the party. And for a lot of these federal conservatives, the main liberal sticks in their throat like a chicken bone. They can't, they you have to get it out. They can't, they don't even like saying the word liberal. Falcon says the soon to be BC United is a big tent party, although he was photographed meeting with federal conservative leader Pierre Polyev earlier this month. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, to me, it's never about left or right. It's about just doing the right thing. The BC NDP says the party may have a new name, but their policies so far haven't changed much. What I have to say is Kevin Falcon can change his name of his party, but he can't change his record. For 12 years when Kevin Falcon was in power, he gave tax breaks to the wealthiest while everybody else paid for it. This political scientist says the name change could drive away federal liberals or more progressives from the BC Liberal fold. The party wants to make inroads with some of the centrist voters that they have lost touch with that voted for the BC NDP last time around. And yet those are voters that would tend to vote uh, liberal uh, at the federal level. Before that can happen though, the name change needs to be approved by members. The earliest that could happen is next year. Mira Baines, CBC News, Victoria.